Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Free Play Friday! Today, we're checking out Adventure Capitalist. Adventure Capitalism. Adventure Capital. Venture Capital. It's about money! Yay! The quick acquisition of growth and money and the wonderful being of all of our existences, the cash flow that will go to capitalism and businesses that actually buy bigger things and have enough money to buy more bigger things and essentially feed upon themselves like the great robbers of myth. Yes, what we're doing today is playing a cookie cutter, not a cookie cutter, a cookie clicker game on the PSN network. Yes, this one's available for free on the American PSN because of course, where else would you go than the home of capitalism for a game that's actually pretty much clicking mindlessly at buttons and making money doing nothing. It feels so familiar. Right, so guys, this game is simple as hell. You can see, looking at the main screen, absolutely everything. You see the money at the top. You see the bars flowing. You see that you're meant to click on each one of these at some point. But this game has a genius, genius move in its part. It takes the botting that tends to happen in games like this and makes it part of the game. Well done, well done to you. Well done, yes, mm, yes indeed. You actually beat out the bots by actually putting them into your own game. It's a smart move. It means that whenever you're playing this, you could set it up. Once you have all your automation in place, you can literally just bugger off and let the game play on its own and just come back to have a stash of cash that you can use at a later point, which is fantastic. And this stash of cash will continue to accumulate and continue to accumulate and continue to accumulate either at a higher or lower rate, mattering on the way you kind of like augmented and set up this game. A lot of that's done by actually walking across and picking out, like, say you have a list of businesses you want like, I want another 50 of them. I wonder which one I can actually get 50 of right here. Okay, let's take a look at C. Okay, so it's on to the hockey businesses. I'm gonna buy 50 of those and just dose it up to 100 and let's see what happens. Ding! Oh yes, you automatically get a multiplier that increases your profit by two, by multiplied by two, by a multiplier. These multipliers are everywhere. And what do you use the money to do? You use it to go and buy a trip to the moon or Mars. Obviously, that's where you're going to take your business first next. After you've taken over all the oil fields on Earth, you need to go mining into other places for your stuff. You need to actually put up lemonade stands on the moon because people, astronauts get thirsty. I'm sure they do. They're like up in space, dehydrated. They've got dehydrated powder. It's never going to be the same. And looking at the actual options inside the game, we're taking a look at the profile that we have. It's very, very simplified down. You can either turn the music on, you turn the music off, or you can change your gender from male to female. And the only other thing you can do is the gold money market. The gold money real tri money transactions, the RMT store in the game, which is done with gold bars. Um, we'll get to that very, very shortly. Of course, it has the basic stats of everything it's got on in your account so far. And the leaderboard which has the most terrifying number names I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at these things. I, I, I know what a centillion is. I'm almost sure I know what a centillion is, but that's not even the top 20. That's from 25 to 20 is a, a centillion. All the rest of these are terrifying other numbers, <laughs> which I don't want to know. I don't want to know what they're a multiple of. So yes, of course, the leading boards of directors, this is, what, this is what the whole point of the game is, is to actually be trying to get onto the top scores. But anybody who's been playing this for a while will have already kind of like figured their mechanics and will keep themselves up there because the game, no matter what, will perpetually maintain the amount of money that you have earned. Now looking at this, you've got a bunch of unlocks which will keep you involved in the game, about 633 of them, which then translate into trophies as well for whenever you complete each section of them, which is a guaranteed lock for anybody who's going to be doing trophy hunting for this. They're very simple to get because literally they are a matter of time before you get all of them, but I could see the frustration for trophy hunters whenever you see this many of them. <laughs> Just notice that. Gold press latinum. I'm a big fan of Deep Space Nine. Damn you for Rengi money fuckers. <sighs> Yeah, it's going to hold people onto the game for a really long time. Now, it can be sped up by using these upgrades. The upgrades are used with the in-game currency, thankfully enough, for the majority of them. You can see at the top what I'm, we're going to get to. But whenever you get to these insane numbers, it's hard to think of how you're going to have the cash to do those. But of course, you'll increase in profits. Now, looking at the um, angel upgrades, these are a completely different way of upgrading because the angels come in as angel investors, which you can reset your whole account down to zero, but you get a number of angel investors for doing so and if you do that at a late enough stage you have enough to be able to kind of kickstart yourself again when you jump into it so if you have like a billion angels it's actually worthwhile maybe doing because you can get back up to that score a lot quicker without wasting time and money which is a possibility it might help but i mean especially when you're looking at these things where your businesses cost about 
25 million angels. The only reason why you do that is if you've already bought enough businesses that, like for example, the newspaper business for me, it costs like 1 trillion just to buy the next one. So it would be a quick way to kind of accumulate those if you have a large number of funds that you can take with you. Now, what we need to start moving on to after we look at these is the gold upgrades. This is the real time money. This is your real money being spent on these. So these are permanent increases or immediate increases to do things like multipliers and being able to claim your angels without actually losing your businesses people will use that regularly enough because they'll want the money from that it's terrifying maybe if you actually like found a way to work around to get five gold for every time you bought a oil rig for the first time and then looped it a few times to get yourself up to the 20 or 40 you can game the system but that seems like a lot of time to put into it the um, other choices here, fuck's capacity. I mean, the, the humor is lost. It gets taken away from me whenever I realize it's actually real money that's being spent on these. It really, really affects my judgment for what is funny. Now, all of these all other things, the gold suits, the blue suits, are permanent upgrades. Like, they're the same as actually buying costumes that actually have physical upgrades to your account to go along with it. So you can tell if you look at somebody else's account if they've actually bought one of these things. So it shows that they're wearing it, no matter on what planet they're on. <laughs> to be honest, if you're going to spend money on this, you don't you don't really live on this planet a lot, do you? Now, whenever we're saying the automation is built into this, if you look at the managers, those are the people who actually run your businesses for you and do the clicking for you whenever you're not paying attention. Now, it shows here angels only, but it is real money that actually is used, not real money, um, in-game money that's used for these up until the trillion mark for whenever you're running the oil fields. But after this, of course, these things start to be related to how many uh, angels you have to be able to spend on it. Now, it also affects the fact that you'll be able to um, to get price discounts as well. But this movement to another planet is also buyable with in-game currency if you have enough to kind of reduce it down. You're chatting trillions and trillions of dollars. But you, of course, can do it with angels and with gold as well. I can see a lot of people just unlocking all the places very, very quickly. Now, whenever you run and get to the point where you're looking at those insane amounts of money and you're off Earth, you're going to have to use the galactic standard currency, I'm sure, rather than actually using your Earth books. So to convert your Earth books into mega books, you need at least one decillion. This, or like even just seeing that number, I can imagine that number has probably changed since the game initially came out. It's probably easier to get mega books because the exchange rate was better, but now because there's so much money about it, it's really, really hard to get your mega books to spend in space. And you're probably going to spend a mega buck per business whenever you get up to it. So like it's just, just even seeing how long these things are going to take if you don't spend money is the wall that we are all going to run into because of the free to play nature of it. You're gonna to have to drop cash to get past that. The mega bucks of course can be used to buy golden tickets which are then used for other specialized activities. The, the tearing of this is and gating is mildly terrifying and almost as much as the ridiculously large names and numbers that we're dealing with whenever we look at mega bucks. So you can see what the exchange rate is them, and you can see that they've got events pages, but I'm tired of talking about this. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Adventure Capitalism. Don't get too addicted to it. Give it a try if you feel like it. It is for free on the American PSN store. Remember to hit like if you like this video, hit dislike next to it, and fuck off if you're a capitalist. <laughs> I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.